So guys, the word is there's three beetles on this property. I got a feeling they're in there. Oh, they are. No way. It's hard to watch this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I came to rescue cars. <laughs> this guy. Look at the chainsaw. Can we clear the fort? Really? Day two. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> you came to help out? Yeah, the, machine, the machine's been here for an hour. I think it's single digits today. Put a hurting on the rest of this pile because it was still a good two feet and we were just gonna put ramps and ramp it out. Matt and I were here a couple days ago and started it. It is number two. Snow makes everything better. Where's you dizzy when you need him? He's hammering dirt. Not wood, that's dirt. Show us what we're up against here. Oh yeah. This was kind of in the ground, so hopefully this case is good. Because that would be really oh, bad. Oil. Hey, this is better than the it's last better than, <laughs> huh? Better than some others. Pissing water all over me. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. I always do this with plastic so you don't gouge this perfect. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> don't gouge it, throw it on the floor. <laughs> oh, there. Oh! That's not that bad. Looks good. From here? Case feels pretty good. That's a good sign. It's not good, but we can fix it. Welcome back, guys. We've got the 70 vert mammoth. Someone coined it Mammoth, I forgot who. Chiseled out of the frozen earth. I like it, we're gonna go with Mammoth. You, two questions you have. Is this gonna be a work video? Of course it is, I'm wearing my Slades VW t-shirt. There's gonna be some work involved. Check out Slades VW for great how-to Volkswagen content. He's working on a 68 sunroof car. It's gonna be start to finish. Great channel, great guy, check him out. We're gonna get this engine unstuck today, hopefully. I would like to get the engine started while in the car. I know we have to pull the engine, we have to get all the mouse nests out of the tins and everything, but I just want to see if we can get this thing fired while in the car. Give this thing a pulse. We'll go ahead and get these in there. Got our strainer nuts and drain bolt. We'll throw that in the ultrasonic. Some of you guys asked me which model this is. I don't even know, just your typical model you find on uh, Google. Amazon, eBay. You guys also asked what I ran in here. I run Berryman's. Don't get it too hot, it is obviously flammable. I am ready for a change, so I don't mind throwing this stuff in there. All right guys, well we're back, it's day two. It was 55 degrees yesterday, and now we got four inches of snow, go figure. Check that out. VW, original VW strainer. So, a couple little tap tap -a roots back in business. Something else cool about this car, we still have all six of our studs present. You don't see that too often. No more frosting.
And yes, it's much colder today. Yesterday was like 55 degrees. Should have got this all done yesterday, but I did. Oh, I knew that was gonna. F you know what just happened. I was just thinking, don't leave that there. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. It's all right. I got it. Genius. All right, I'm going to get this buttoned up. All right. So the engine is a B6. That would make this a 1600 single port. Great engine, very uh, sought after. I love single ports. You get the 1600, the extra 100 cc's over the 15. Pretty cool motor. Engine, can't say motor, engine. So also some questions on the year. I have never checked the VIN, so let's go check the VIN. It's a, yeah, it's a 150. So 150 would make this a 70. And I see the cobalt L630. This engine will come apart, but we're gonna get it buttoned up for now. This tail light was just driving me crazy. Oh yeah, looks better already. We are on our way. I just needed to see something good and positive. Dust off 2022. <laughs> Got our valve covers cleaned. Get a new gasket on there, we'll get these buttoned up. All right guys, I've been at this for like two days looking over this car. I have yet to get a vision for this car. Yeah, the lighting is terrible. Good news, Hyperlight is sending me lighting for the shop. Get this place lit up, get the walls painted. Back to the car. Cannot get a vision for this car. So, what do you do with a convertible? Simple. You think the top's gonna go down or is it gonna be stuck? Oh yeah. Just helping my vision. Yep. Sweet. Just what I was afraid of. It's a four person job. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think there's enough PD blaster to get this top down. I've really worked on this car for two days. It does not like me. Three cans of PB later. I didn't mean Pat's blue ribbon either. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. We're getting there. We are getting there. Don't force it. We don't want to break anything. Oh. <laughs> As I fall through the floor, I'm fine. I forgot, got a little bit of a floor problem on the passenger side. Make that both sides, but I'm on fine, I'm fine. I'm gonna keep lubricating. We will get this top down. I will see it feels better already. Love it. Just need a little, what's the word? Help me out, guys. A little, I just can't get a vision for this thing. Can't. Got to get the top down. Have to. If I get the top down, things are going to really change. I can feel it. All right, let's keep going.
We're in the home stretch. Oh, that, that's not good. That's it, all we need is a boot and we're good. Should I go all the way down? I don't know. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it right there just to get a just to get a look. Tell me, is it looking better? How's it look? Drop top. Waving to the girl, he's on standby. Did you stop? Heck no, I just drove by. Well there it is! Oh, it looks <laughs> it just looks awesome. That really, really did it, guys. Can we just work on the black car in front? Can we just cut this and... <sighs> Damn. It's winter. We got no time to be cleaning this thing. Ain't nobody got time for that. I really put this top all the way down. Oh, I just, I, I gotta have to bring it to the car wash and wash the inside out. I'm not going any further than that. That's good enough to get my locks in the breeze. All right, guys, it's time to stop kitty footing around and get this engine dropped. We're gonna go all CT medieval, drop it, and I'm tearing it down. Heater box cables check. I got one of these new ones. You know I love these new cars. Show yourself. I got the lowers. The uh, the studs came right out with with the nut. Look at this cable. What is this nonsense? What's with these new cars? Come off of there, do you? Oh, that's a nice rusty screw, huh? Hmm. That's that's special. Wow. I love these new cars. All right. Coil. Oil wires, check, carburetor, check, Obviously my battery is not hooked up because it fell out of the car when we were loading it on the trailer. What's the world record for dropping an engine? It's like, I, I just saw a video, it's, uh, it's insane. We're not gonna set that. In fact, we're already like 10 times that. Is that a screw? Can't even see it. Show yourself. Oh yeah, we're not getting on that. Unbelievable. This this car has been fighting me like every step of the way. Every every step of the way. Yeah, every step. Like, did you want me to just leave you to die? I don't get it. Really, really don't get it. Everything's so brittle too. 
double check all these wires. Condenser. Throttle cable, how hard are you gonna follow? You actually have a, uh, you got an eight millimeter, I think, on that. Got it. There's nothing to bite on that thing. Nope. Oh man, she's breaking up. Break it up, break it up. Go a little more. What do you think? I feel good about it. Oh my goodness, seriously? Like, you're just a screw. Oh, come on. Wants nothing to do with it. And my camera died. But we got it. Yes. There it is. Yeah, go ahead, tell me. Dropping an engine out of a post-67 car is the exact same. I don't want to hear it. It's not true. Nope. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> oh, we've been here a while, folks. Oh, I got this thing to budge. Ratchet on this now. This thing was kicking my butt. So guys, let me explain to you uh, why this car hates me. Yeah, we broke that. That's just the beginning of our problems. Not sure if you guys can see that, but broke the tranny. That's why that nut just keeps spinning. Awesome. So I've never had a car fight me like this car has fought me ever. So, <laughs> I'm gonna cut that um, nut off of there. I will get this engine dropped. It's not gonna happen tonight. Spring is coming. I am selling some cars. Get into that in another video. Um, probably only keeping like 17. That sounds like a good round even-ish number so so that's gonna do it hopefully at least you found Slade's VW and from this video <laughs> got my ass kicked happens I will be back on this thing this motor will get out we'll get it on the engine stand we'll get it torn down I've got look at this all kinds of parts for this car. Can't even get the engine out. 
It's all right. We'll regroup, we'll regroup stronger. So you guys have a great weekend. I hope everyone's doing well, and we'll see you soon. Take care, guys. <laughs> you feeding the mice? <laughs> give me, the, give me the good news. It's got a real nice interior. You see the seat right there is real, real clean. Steering wheel is nice. This, that's a battery. It's the top of a battery. Oh, there. That's where it broke off. Yeah, that's. And it fell. Well, the backbone's solid. Yeah, yeah. Heater channels are uh, there. See, if I had a lift, <laughs> if I had a lift so I could see things like the Napoleon's hat and the bulkhead, I would own a lot less cars. This is the conclusion to a bad day. Working on the Beetle and I lose my Westie top on the 69 Camper. Luckily, no one was injured. Well, there it is, guys. Made it to its new home. We did lose the roof. <laughs>